I think the application, what we were looking for, is that it's a constitutional provision. That if you charge somebody in a criminal matter, you give him the adequate facilities to prepare for his defense. With allegations has been made against us as to, and they, the charge they read, they referred to some documents. Whilst he was in office, he uttered some replies from other agencies which are all under the state. And the complainant is Cocoa Board, and they have the document. So all we are asking, give us all this document. Let's study the document so that when the trial starts, we are in the trial. When you bring that document to tender, we can give you the reason why those documents were uttered. You know, so that's what we are asking. It's just like you asked me that I've stolen something or I've stolen a phone. And I'm saying that, show me the phone that I've stolen. You put it in your pocket and say you've stolen a phone, so I'll prosecute you for stealing a phone. I said, give me the phone, let me have a look at it. If that's the phone or another phone, I can explain. So that's all in the simple terms, give us the document. Now they, in their reply, it's saying that the document we are asking is irrelevant because we took office in 2013. Why the reason why we were asking for all those documents from 2008 to see that is there consistency? Is that how Coco Board does their agreement? So why don't you want to give us those ones, the precedents, to show that there's consistency? What we have done is the way things are done at Coco Board. And they say those ones are irrelevant. But I think that the court in its own wisdom says that we are basing our argument on the supreme law of Ghana, which is the 1992 Constitution. And the court says, yes, that article has become a thorny issue in our criminal jurisprudence. The position of law is that when it comes to the interpretation of the 1992 Constitution, it is only Supreme Court. You cannot arrogate that power to yourself as a high court judge or even court of appeal judge. So that's why the judge says that since it is the same article, I will not refer it to them, but I will wait. If Supreme Court pronounce on that, if Supreme Court says that, yes, you have to give all those documents, he will be bound by it. If Supreme Court says, no, you can't give it to the accused persons, then he'll be bound by it. So that's why he has adjourned the matter. Then we come back. <laughs>